Hey guys, this is Paul with RC Film Fighters. We're back out at Herman Airport. Um, I pretty much put together a new concept, or new uh, version of that last plane I flew in the last video we put up. I ended up deciding to call it the FF Demon, kind of short for uh, Speed Demon. I don't know if you can see that little logo I've got. Yeah, I got it zoomed in. Okay, uh, but pretty much what I did is I narrowed the back end a little bit, kind of made it more squared off, and I've kind of these little um, vertical stabilizer base points or whatever heck you want to call it. I uh, kind of curved it in, tried to get everything away from the prop to make it as clean of air as possible. Um, this is made with the heavier fo um, Elmer's foam board. So overall with the different motor, bigger battery and bigger ESC, it's roughly about eight ounces heavier than the uh, last test version we flew. Um, but we're gonna throw it in the air and see how it works. Um, I did create some little stickers on here and it, right now I just have a little hatch with the magnet. I'm gonna be running a 5S 2200 milliamp battery. Um, with the weight I needed to get the CG, you could probably even use a bigger battery because I had to add about two ounces in the nose to get the CG right with this heavier foam board and bigger motor. Um, it's running an 80 amp uh, ESC. This is the same one that I had in the crazy FF Aurora that I crashed, I don't know, about a month or so ago. Um, and this is the Cobra Racewing motor and it it's running a 6.5 by 6.5 pylon racer prop. And I think, what was it, about 1,200 watts, Frank, when we tested it? Yeah, it was over that, man. Something like that. So <laughs> I thought you were closer to 1,500, if I yeah, remember. Yeah, right. maybe that's right. But it's pretty hot today. It's about 90 degrees out. So I'll run it, but I don't know if I'll push it super, super hard. We'll see how it flies. I do have the GPS in it this time, so hopefully we can get some uh, speed clocks That'd on it. That'd be cool. So let's throw it in the air see what happens. All righty. <laughs> Get it trimmed out first. Yeah. How's it feel? Feels like I need some up elevator. Okay guys, we're flying. It's been nosing down a little bit, so I had Frank give me a couple clicks of up elevator. So I'm just taking it easy a little right now. It's kind of getting it dialed in. You can definitely feel the weight in this one. It doesn't fly as docile as the last test version. Well, you went what, from a 4S to a 5S? 5S and you went to a bigger motor, didn't you? Or is the motor about the same? Hey, the battery's fading out already. Bring it in then. Yeah. You got the other battery. Okay, I'm gonna bring it around. Hang on, which way is the wind blowing? Uh you launched outward, so. Okay, come towards you. Well, it's kind of a cross. It's coming from behind you right now. There, right now, this is the way you want to be coming in for the landing. Yeah. Hang on, almost. Circle there. around. That's the thing too with that weight, it just wants to keep gliding. Whoa, Whoa, dude. What the don't, heck? don't don't stall it. Oh, hey, oh man, the dirt. All right, guys, I, that first flight went okay, but it wasn't the greatest. It felt like I was a little bit nose heavy. Um, I adjusted the battery a little bit back, and I put a few more clicks of uh, up elevator in it. I did have a little bit of a hard landing, so I had to add a little tape to the uh, bottom of the fuselage because it kind of popped off because I hit pretty hard. Uh, but we're gonna throw it in the air anyway, see what happens. I got the GPS in there again. So hopefully we get it flying nice and level, I can do some uh, high speed passes. Yeah, it feels a little better. Does it feel more dialed in now, Paul? Yeah. Is it still nosing down or not?
pull down past. <laughs> Oh, I think I stalled it. This thing's heavy. All right, guys, I did have a hard landing. I think I stalled this thing out because, like I said, it's so heavy. Um, but I did get a, a GPS clock read on that run. So, right, want to zoom in, Frank? Is. Yeah. So, it clocked in at 120.6 miles an hour in that run. Um, and I don't think I got a super clean uh, speed run in that it last didn't flight. It didn't look as fast yeah. as like that last Yeah, the Aurora looked a lot faster. So, it was lighter. Um, so I think I'm gonna do some modifications to this plane. Basically, I had to add about two and a half ounces of lead up in the front to get the CG right, because the motor you know, on this plane is way far out back. So what I think I'm gonna do is maybe I'll try and move the motor forward um, to get the CG a little bit better, and hopefully we can lighten it up, and maybe spread out the vertical stabilizer just a little bit more to give it a better clean access to the air. Um, but anyway, it's still in a process of being developed, so we'll go to the next stage like I said I'll probably do more modifications and we'll go from there all right guys I'm out here again with Frank um, I'm gonna let him fly the first version of my concept plane here just to get his overall thoughts of the way it flies and handles so I guess we'll let Frank throw it up in the air yeah oh, oh shit what happened <laughs> all right guys that first launch didn't go so well uh, Paul, I forget, likes to have his rates turned way up high, and I wasn't ready for it. And I went to counter it, uh, rolling to one side, and I ended up rolling too hard and put it in the nose it into the ground. So um, this time I had him launch it, and I turned, had him turn the rates all the way to the low rates. It still feels touchy for me. Overall, how's it flying? It flies is it flying really okay? Good, but man, this thing will roll on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, where are you at? I lost Damn, man, the elevator is pretty touchy. <laughs> Made some more adjustments, had to turn the elevator down too. Flies good though, feels locked in, but man, the control surface on this thing is pretty crazy. Yeah, this is the plane, this one has the monster jet. That's and we're on low roll. Yeah, right we're adding 4S. So. Flies nice though, I like it. Yeah. I think I just gotta get used to the rates on it. Yeah, that and it's a different radio in your hands, you're not used to the actual radio slows down nice yeah this this one lighter definitely do, it doesn't stall out like the other plane dang cool. that's nice okay yeah overall what do you think is it fly um, okay it flies really good but for me i think i'd have to set the rates a lot lower um, i'm just not used yeah. to having that much uh control of the plane yeah <laughs> i think you know i may have to just lighten up the other plane and Maybe go away from the 5S, yeah, go back to 4S. Yeah, if you can get the other one to fly like this one and uh, do that much faster, that'd be awesome. 